Hey everybody, this is Ms. Shaw and I am actually recording from another part of my house. It's actually in my living room. I'm on the floor today because I wanted to talk to you about how to be prepared in emergency. One of my friends who actually subscribes to this channel, uh, her house years ago, I mean a long time ago, caught on fire and her and her son and her dog got out safely. Unfortunately, one of her friends who was staying with her at the time did not make it out. And it changed the life of her and her family. But I found out through, you know, talking to her and stuff that the one thing she was so glad and so happy that besides having the love and support of everybody was to have her own um, clothes in the car. One, um, she thought she lost everything and one day in her own car she found that she had like a shirt of hers. So this is in dedication to her and I've done this way even before this happened but it's being prepared in case anything happens. In my car I actually have something called an overnight bag that stays in the car. It's about this big. It's a small one, okay? And it has clothes for one day. It stays in my car because of where I work. Sometimes I might get dirty or something happens and I can't go home and automatically change my clothes and come back to work. So, uh, this bag kind of helps out. I've also had to use it a couple of times when um, I was student teaching, I was in another um, town, not too far away, but they, uh, we had to do a parent-teacher conference and I had to be part of it. Well, it gets done late at night and it was deer season. And with uh, my, my mom, who's had a deer uh, literally run into her car, I didn't want to get into an accident, maybe cause damage to myself or others. So I decided, or even to the deer, so I decided to uh, stay the night at a hotel nearby. And I had already planned it out and I already packed my bags, but I had my emergency bag because I forgot something. So this small bag has everything I would need like overnight. I also had to use it one time when something happened in my family and I didn't feel comfortable staying in my house by myself. So I went to a friend's house who uh, she knew what, what I was going through because she went through it with her family. And so we just, I spent the time there uh, with a very good friend and she helped me through it. So I had to change my clothes. I had a change of clothes that I could just change right into and then I went to work. So this has helped me out a lot. <laughs> okay. I... Now there are also another emergency bag I do have and sometimes people have it for like their gym clothes and stuff, but sometimes just a plastic bag with a change of clothes in it. Um, I've had to use that sometimes as well and my mom uses it too. When we go out, sometimes uh, she can't control her bowels as much and she, gets di she may have diarrhea. So instead of like she goes in the bathroom she tries to clean herself up as best as she can her clothes could be like really soaking wet so we keep a change of clothes in there for her and for myself because maybe you get spilled on food you know you don't want to go home with like food on your clothes so we have that this right here it's going to be a little tough but i'm going to turn it and try to show you as much as i can okay have to lift it up some. This is the 365 day overnight bag. This is for about a week's worth of clothes. Uh, this is mostly what I call a grab and go bag. It has the clothes which in the comments I will uh, talk about and I'll give you a list of it. But this really does it for say like in my friend's case uh, 
you know something really happens it's one week of clothes that are all yours and it's used 365 days a year depending on the weather and stuff now the one thing it does not have which is of course in winter time is uh, a very heavy coat well the reason being is you want to be able to use your clothes any time of the year for whatever weather you have and when it's winter you can always what's called layer that means like right now I have a t-shirt on okay and then I can put this over me and it keeps me a little warmer I can also then put a little bit bigger uh, coat over me and zip it up and keep it close to my body okay and I can layer and then when I get hot I can take the layers off so that's mostly a lot of things but it's really important to have and especially for my friend I love you this is a dedication to her but also to all the others who uh, went through this as well and it's also I've never had to go through this except for when um <coughs> excuse me when i had something and i had to be and i was at a friend's house and instead of trying to drive home i just stayed there and i had my change of clothes right in my uh bat right in my car okay if you have kids and also i'm going to tell this for adults as well make sure about every six months you go into the bag to just check on what clothes that they have especially if you have kids that are growing make sure you have three different sizes in the bag you have the size that they are now the size that they can become and stuff because the size that they are now if it's winter time the size that they could go up to that goes over to their regular size okay and then they can layer that way also if they grow up then they don't have like uh, small clothes in their bags as well like maybe they grew and you didn't get a chance to change out everything so they have something that they could wear also you know sometimes things that can go especially if you fluctuate your weight men and women you can do that as well okay um, I would show you everything but you know sometimes some stuff is like a little bit of detail also I wanted to the one the stuff I will show you is in my red bag I also have like what you might call wilderness survival stuff whatever one thing I always recommend having and even if you're an adult baby wipes really really important to have why well they're very universal they if you have if you can't get to a shower you know these help they can clean your body okay i know they're baby wipes but they do work they're very versatile also in case you have to go out in the wilderness and you know you got your cleaning wipes okay so they can wipe your tush and they can wipe your body and clean your body okay another thing to have this is something it's the weather channel okay this doesn't have batteries at all in it you wind it up and it makes your own electricity okay it also has a light on it as well and if it does any emergency information you need to have this is really important your cell phone will work but if the towers go down you this is another thing to have handy okay and with the just going in the back has a little handle you just you know you go up and then um power you can turn it on light see the light shining and all you turn the light on turn it off and it's automatically it can also be on standby as well okay so i'm going to put this back another good thing to have i know this is fleece throw rugs these i bought like really cheap they fit in my bag these are okay to have i you know if you can fit in it i have two of them they really help keep you warm but what i do recommend and i do have in my bag is called camp gear now you may go what the heck are you talking about go to a walmart go to a target or go to a camp store and you'll figure out what i'm talking about okay i'm going to make sure i have the in here Plus, I have to go through all my bags as well. Okay. I mean, 
Oh, I have two bags of baby wipes. You never know. Um, okay, this is what I'm talking about. They are actually a little bit smaller. The package is a little bit thinner. But these are called uh, heat sheets, okay? They can go over you. They can be used as a tent. Get a couple of these. These really help. And especially if you're in your car, these help because it is it reflects the heat that your body naturally gives off back to you and it helps keep you warm okay go buy a travel toothbrush a brand new ever never you won't use travel brush okay might be a little bit more expensive if you really are in the need of going oh i can't really afford it go to the dollar store get a toothbrush okay this is travel because of the anti-microbes micro yeah antibacterial bristle protection brush okay it also folds up i kept it in the actual container to tell me that i've never used it okay um i do have batteries but as i say check them every six months make sure the acid has not leaked from them okay um you may decide to have like even though i had that which is the emergency uh, warning system as well. You may also want some walkie talkies that, especially if you have um, family members as well, and you have to be somewhere, these work and you can stay in communication with one another. Yes, you may say cell phones work, but cell phones don't cover everything. It's depending on where you are, these will, especially if they're in range of each other, okay? And you and this has like different um, frequencies that they have okay now this is deodorant guys and girls make sure you have deodorant I will tell you right now even though these help out you don't want to stink okay and it also makes you feel like you're clean okay a small bag of toothbrush I um, toothpaste excuse me works very well and mouthwash why do i say mouthwash here's the thing sometimes it's called the water and you gotta put a tad bit in to make it taste good okay but mouthwash can also help keep the bacteria you want to keep yourself as healthy as you possibly can especially now we are in a pandemic maybe when this uh, is still on we may not okay but this is really important okay I also have lotion with me for my dry, uh, my skin does get dry, so I have a little bit of lotion. As I say, check your bag about every six months. You can, try, you can do it once a year as well, but I suggest every six months. In case you go down a size or up a size, it's always important to just like check to make sure you ha also have everything as well. Maybe there's some stuff you may not uh, have okay gentlemen now I know this is a female razor guys if you work someplace you may have to have a razor because you may still have to go to work this also helps as well this helps as well too okay and uh, we have uh, the instant stain remover the white packets I that's an extra thing but you may put that in there also your shoes you don't need Nikes or Jordans in there. Get some cheap shoes. You know, you may uh, decide to get, uh, they call them gasoline shoes or work shoes, like especially anti-slip shoes. I know a lot of them are uh, black sneakers. They're really good because especially the anti-slip ones, especially if it's winter time, they can kind of help you out. Make sure you don't slip and slide in the ice, okay? Um... Make sure you have your underwear. Make sure you have the stuff you need. And also make sure you have a list of your medications and anything you do have. Um, I made this up for the kids as well. And you have emergency contact phone numbers. For example, a friend of yours. Now, if you guys only use cell phone, they may, cell phones will work for an, a limited time. The reason that they'll work is because um, of the generators. Once their generators go down, though, 
they don't work anymore. Okay, so that's why I say the walkie talkies in there. They are, uh, their frequency is low that you are able to have that, but also at the same time, they are a short communication. Uh, there is somebody, a group of people known as ham radio operators. My father was in, is part of that operation. And a lot of them actually have their own equipment and their own generators. And they have towers that they are able to go out or even in their house that they can do communications, especially with others as well. They are licensed. You have to have a license for it and stuff. So... If you see somebody that has a big tower next to their house, you better want to you better want to make sure that you know you don't bother them because they may be you may have to use them in emergency. Also, those towers are great lightning rods. Okay, that means that your house will not get struck by lightning. How do I know? My father, the house that I live in right now, we have a big tower and it has a lightning rod on it. And so lightning will hit it and we'll take it right down and away from the house. So the house does not get hit and I don't have a fire. Everybody says, well, why don't you get rid of it? I said, because it's a lightning rod. I'm like, no. Okay. Uh, yep. I'm just looking through my clothes and stuff. I will have to go through this and stuff. So anything that you use or you uh, need to have, Make sure it's in your bag, okay? I also suggest having cash in your bag. I do not have cash in my bag, but I do recommend uh, in your bag that you do carry some money in 20s, 5s, 10s, and 1s. Excuse me, 20, 20, 10s, 5s, and 1s. You decide the amount of money you carry in the bag. The reason being is credit cards work great only if electricity works. If electricity doesn't work, then money will help. Also keep some coins in there as well. You know, so maybe if you have to go buy something, you have it. Also, if you have to spend the night at, at like a hotel and stuff and the, you know, the jing is down, then you have cash that you can pay for it. Okay. And, or maybe buy, as I said, buy stuff. So, uh, I will try in the comment section, uh, put a list of what I suggest and then anything else you may think that you will need. Okay. I know this is about 20, uh, I'm trying, it's over 10 minutes and I didn't go through everything, but I wanted to really, uh, do this for you guys. Okay. If you have any questions in the comments, I will try to respond to them as much as possible. Um, one thing before I go, also make sure you have canned food and you have matches. Now, the matches I'm going to show you right now, they're cheap matches. You may want, excuse me, these are really, really good to have. Um, if you go to Walmart or a camp store, they have special matches that are water resistant as well. But if you don't have a lot of money, get these. These are like cheap <laughs> and a bunch of them and just put them in a Ziploc bag, okay? Also, your clothes can be also be put into a Ziploc bag as well, you know, big bags and stuff, so that uh, they are protected from the weather, okay? And uh, there's other YouTube videos out there that can help you as well. If what I can't, if what I suggested doesn't work out, there are other, uh, videos that people have come up with suggestions on so you take care now everybody oh, we gotta put this back and be safe be caring of one another but be wise bye now